Hello and welcome to this edition of the Daily 10, your source for entertaining news, celebrities and latest trends. I am your host PNK. Diamond Platinum sister Esma Platinum is officially off the market. Esma, who is a single mom of two, seems to have found the love of her life and said I do in a private wedding. The singer's sister shared a short video of the wedding leaving her fans confused on when the event took place. From the video, she could be seen in a pretty bridal gown and her finger beautified with a gorgeous ring. Her sister Queen Darling then confirmed the news of her marriage and then wished her a happy life. 11 years of laughter, 11 years of love, 11 years of endurance, 11 years of passion are what Kabus are celebrating. The happy pair Sarah and Simon Kabu jumped into a fresh decade in the presence of friends and family at a private event. The duo whose marriage clocked 11 years over the weekend whisked away with confidence at a magical hotel for two action-packed days. They celebrated their anniversary in style and made sure the people they loved got to enjoy the magnificent event with them. Comedian Felix Oduo Elis Jalango has announced his next move. Jalango revealed to his fans that he will be going back to the place where he started his first broadcasting journey. Speaking through his YouTube channel Bonga Najalas, the funny man disclosed that he will be going back to Wayakiwe, basically alluding to the fact that he will be joining Radio Africa. According to the ex Milele FM presenter, he had received calls from eight radio stations, with the reason one being KBC, which he declined. <laughs> Pastor Kanyari's ex wife singer Betty Bayo turned heads after a photo of her together with Chikuyu musician Ben Githai emerged, hinting that despite her broken marriage, she had found solace elsewhere. So recently, she put up a photo of herself together with Ben Githai and that had seemingly answered fans about her new relationship. Ben Githai has now come out to address the allegations, saying that he is not in a relationship with her, saying that they're just rumors. He added that the only relationship they have is only professional. Mike Henry, the white actor who has voiced Cleveland on Family Guy for 20 years, is stepping down from the role saying the black character should be voiced by a person of color. Henry made the announcement on Friday saying, and I quote, It's been an honor to play Cleveland on Family Guy for 20 years. I love this character, but persons of color should play these roles of color. Therefore, I will be stepping down from the role. End of quote. Henry has been with Family Guy since 1999, so this is a pretty huge deal. Nipsey Hussle's family is stuck in an odd limbo with a Crips company over a trademark and it's got them worried something shady is going on. Sources close to them say his family's legal conflict with Crips LLC over the rights of Hussle's The Marathon Continues slogan has carried on leaving family members frustrated. The Crips organization filed a couple trademarks for the phrase in 2019, one for clothing and one for various services. Shortly afterward, however, it apologized and vowed to back off saying it will not get into a legal battle with the family but they now seem reluctant. The Premier League's elite club will all be beginning to plan for the summer ahead of the delayed opening of the transfer window which draws ever closer. Manchester United are expected to be among the most busy sides with the likes of Dortmund's Jadon Sancho and Aston Villa captain Jack Grealish thought to be the high targets on their wish list. Liverpool meanwhile look to add on their squad with the tricky Wolves winger Adama Traore and Thiago Alcantara of Bayern Munich. Chelsea have already splashed their cash on Hakimi Zayic and Timo Werner. Tanzanian R&B heartthrob Juma Musa Mkabala alias Juma Jukes has put to rest reports that he is eyeing Kenyan socialite Huda Monroe after his relationship with Thai model Nakia broke down. Speaking to global publishers, Jukes said he has tremendous respect for the Huda cosmetic CEO, having worked with her on several projects over the years. While exalting Huda as an adorable beauty, Jukes explained that the self-styled boss chick is taken and went on to add that he regards her as a sister. Hollywood actress Lupita Nyong'o is one woman who never fails to celebrate her achievements however little or huge they are. The beauty is toasting for being the first African woman to voice the documentary on Go Discovery. In a post shared on her Instagram account, the US-based actress shared a snippet of the video. Lupita did a perfect narration of the Serengeti documentary that showed how elephants are always determined to stick together. Well, congratulations to her. And with that, we come to the end of this edition of the Daily 10. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We're looking forward to your feedback. Make sure to catch me every Monday to Friday from 6.50pm to 7pm. From me, PNK, here at the Daily 10, it's goodbye.